Hi, this is Dr. Loach from humanbodyhelp.com. This model is really good for visualizing the cranial nerves. Um, the cranial nerves on this model are colored in yellow here. Here we can see cranial nerve number one, the olfactory nerve at the superior aspect of the nasal cavity right here. These olfactory nerves would attach to the olfactory bulbs, which would then bring the smell information back along the olfactory tracts to the temporal lobe back here. Um, but this would be cranial nerve number one, olfactory nerve. Cranial nerve number two would be this nerve right here, which is the optic nerve. Okay? Optic nerve would attach to eyeballs that would be right here. But optic nerve would cross at the optic chiasm and then continue posteriorly right here as the optic tract. Okay? But this right here is cranial nerve number two. This is the optic nerve. Cranial nerve number three is the oculomotor nerve, and that's this nerve right here. Cranial nerve number four is going to be this nerve in here. Cranial nerve number four is the trochlear nerve. Okay? That's right in here. Cranial nerve number five, cranial nerve number five is going to be this nerve right here. This is the trigeminal nerve, and the trigeminal nerve has three branches, okay? One, two, three. So that will give you a clue that this is the trigeminal nerve, very large. Okay? This is cranial nerve number six, and you can see that cranial nerve number six is located at the inferior aspect of the pons. This would be pons right here. Cranial nerve number three, four, and five would be located more at the superior aspect of the pons. Okay? So this is cranial nerve number six, and this cranial nerve number six is the abducens nerve. This right here is cranial nerve number seven, and that's the facial nerve. This right here is cranial nerve number eight, and that's the vestibulocochlear nerve. Cranial nerve number nine is this one right here, and that's the glossopharyngeal nerve. Cranial nerve number 10 is this nerve right here, and that's the vagus nerve. Cranial nerve number 11 is this nerve right here, and that's the accessory nerve. I like to call it the spinal accessory nerve because, as you can see, it gets a contribution from the cervical spinal cord okay, right up into that nerve. So I call it spinal accessory nerve, but that's cranial nerve number 11. And all of these nerves, cranial nerve 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, all are going to be around the medulla oblongata, which is this structure right here. This right here is cranial nerve number 12, and that's also on the medulla. Cranial nerve number 12 is the hypoglossal nerve. Now this model is also a nice model to show the meninges, and I want to show you that while we're here. Okay. Now there's three brain coverings. There's going to be the dura mater, the arachnoid matter, and the pia mater. Okay. Now the dura is going to be just deep to the bone, just deep to the skull bone. So on this model, this light blue membrane right here, that's going to be the dura mater. The pia, or pia matter, would be right on the surface of the brain. So if I were to put a pin here and say, identify the membrane, that membrane would be the pia matter. Now in between the pia matter and the dura matter, we have the arachnoid matter. And the arachnoid matter to early anatomists looked like cobwebs. Okay, so this dark blue membrane right here represents the arachnoid matter. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.